this topics covers coulomb's law actually the force of attraction or repulsion between two charges is given by coulomb's law so this law describe not only the direction but also the size of this force between charged particles coulomb's law states that the force between two points holding a charge is directly proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them here there are two charges q1 and q2 and the distance between these two charges is r so according to the coulomb force is proportional to the product of the two charges q1 and q2 and force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them so ultimately a proportional to q1 q2 by r square or f equal to k q1 q2 by r square where k is the constant or k is known as the permittivity the force between two charged particles depends on what is between them so if anything other than empty space a vacuum comes between them the force between the charges is reduced so this is given by a quantity called permittivity and has the symbol epsilon naught if the permittivity increases then the force between the two charged particle decreases the permittivity of the free space like vacuum is almost equal to that of air and is given the symbol same epsilon naught and has a value in a state of k we can write 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught which represent the permittivity look at this animation carefully in this animation the blue one that one is negative charge and the red one is positive charge so when they are co they come closer there is an attraction force between them and the force increases but when they simply but when the charges simply go further their attraction force decreases so this is the animation when they come closer attraction increases and if they go further attraction decreases and what will happen if two positive charges interact so when two positive charges interact uh, there is a repulsion between them and they are come they come closer their repulsion is much more but when they go further repulsion decreases so always two positive charges repulse one another that is the main theme so when they come closer repulsion increases same theme is applicable for two negative charges so two negative charges always repulse one another and when they come closer repulsion increases and if they go further repulsion decreases so if we take two positive one same thing is applicable repulsion but only the opposite charges simply attract one another so this is the main things and again the same things the coulomb's law force of attraction or repulsion depends on the charges amount of charges and the distance